We get our winner. That's the guy that you want to buy a beer walking down the stairs, putting that big, large chunk of cash in his back pocket. Didn't he win a prize earlier? Isn't that the guy that won one of our prizes earlier? That's not the same guy that won the Angel of the Winds thing, is it? No? Zach Bristol comes back out. Cody Hoops comes back out. Green flag is in hand. Green flag is out. So you got mini stocks and hornets in this one. So it's still Sunholm. Sunholm with a commanding lead in this one. Good battles throughout the field, though. These guys normally don't get a race on the 3 8 track. Oh, Chad Fitzpatrick trips it off the, the ledge there. That's a big drop off of these cars here. Oh, Fitzpatrick locks it up, going to the corner. <laughs> he keeps on going as Chad Fitzpatrick locks the tires, going down into turn one there. And he, he He's just getting ready for Summer Showdown. He wanted to try out the 5 eights tonight. Yeah, he's, he's practicing on the 5 eights track, getting ready for next week on the Summer Showdown. Chad Fitzpatrick, as well as Donnie Wannett, both out here, will be in their big cars next weekend, along with some of the best in the Northwest. Although, you don't want to do that in a late model what he just did, because that would be a little more expensive fix. Yeah. And the speeds of late models go on the front stretch on the front stretch here, you don't hold on to that one. You're going straight to that wall. Looks like Chad might be done here. So who's our highest running? We got Sunholm and Barber and Woodward and Bewald. And then our highest running Hornet right now, I believe, is the 15 of Cole Reardon. But he's got many stock tires on. So then I think it drops back to Jamie Corbett. Donnie Wannett should know this track pretty well, right? Like he, I mean, he races this track more than most of the other Hornet guys. Nat Barber, he's driving the wheels off that car, trying to catch Lane Sunholm. Oh, three and a half wide there out of turn four. Yep, Mackenzie Dietz there. Well, how about this nose to tail battle between Lane Sunholm and Nat Barber up there? Eight laps down this one. They're all going really high out of turn four. Trying to different lines. It's kind of funky. Well, these Hornet cars, though, they got to keep them revved up so the, the more straightaway speed they can go, carry it into the corners. Lane Sunholm has knocked a tire off, though. No, that's a cone. Or cone. Cone, tire, same thing, right? The cone was pretty high up, too. I noticed that a little while ago. But. Barber was catching Sunholm, and then that fell off. Looks like another cone somehow ended up in turn one there. See that one, Jeremy? Nice loose cone in turn one. It went for a long ride. There's another loose cone in between turns three and four, kind of sitting in the middle lane there. Oh, it's not there anymore. It just got picked up and went for a little ride. Courtesy of the 57. Maybe they'll clean up this one, too. Coming close, though. Chad Fitzpatrick back out there once again. Oh, a little drifting going on in turns one and two.
They really got spread out pretty quick here tonight. Yeah, I mean, there was an early on battle there where Barber was right there in the back bumper of Sunholm, and Sunholm just pulled away with five laps left in this one. The time's starting to close down here. Still to come, the Pro 4 late models. And they got a good feel of the cars for this one. It'd be a good, good race. Lane Sunholm trying to navigate that traffic out there. <laughs> Lane through two, three, four cars wide there at some points. White flag that time by for Lane Sunholm. Down the back stretch they go. Good battle here for second spot as Woodward closing in on Barber. The battle for second. Checkered flag is out. Your winner, Lane Sunholm, second. Nat Barber, third, Travis Woodward.